Hey everyone, my name is Coach Nick Aldero, and I want to talk about how I started my basketball training business. And hopefully, if this is something that you're looking to do, it helps you. Uh, before I get started, if you're looking to get in touch with me, there'll be a phone number in the description or a, uh, a link to uh, drop your name and email so we can chat. Uh, so first, number one, you got to just start, right? A lot of times we're like, what do I do? What do I do? Subconsciously, we kind of know what to do. It's just like we're waiting for validation of uh, to start. The reason why you looked up this video is because there's some type of belief in yourself that you can do this. So my advice to you is you just got to start. You got to put yourself out there. So what's one way to do that? For me, I started an Instagram. Um, I learned from other people about skill development. Um, I already I knew basketball, but I didn't realize what I didn't know. Um, and then I started putting out videos and they were bad videos and they, they weren't good. Um, but I put myself out there this way. People knew, knew what I was doing. And then all of a sudden started to grow and, and, and develop some momentum. But in order to develop momentum, you have to just start and put yourself out there. Okay. Inaction does not help anything. Uh, number two, I got in front of parents and kids. So notice I put parents there first. The reason for that is, Kids do not have credit cards, okay? Now, that doesn't mean all I care about is money, but in order to run a business, you have to collect payment and kids, chatting with kids on Instagram isn't gonna help you. We want to speak to parents and get in front of parents and kids. So hopefully their parents are watching the session because once they see you know what you're doing, you, you can talk to them and, and grow your, uh, your customers. But notice what I said here, while collecting info, so before you do a free session, you want to collect their info, name, number, email. That's the way you're going to do the free session. So I get the info first, then I do the free session. You pick a date, you pick a time, you stick with it, promote it on your free social medias, and that's how you get in front of parents and kids. There might not be anybody that shows up. Nobody might want to train at first, but you have to, again, put yourself out there. But you got to make sure you collect that info. Okay? Because when you do do something that's, that's paid, you want them to be able to know about it. Okay? Number three, I worked on my ability to communicate. Now, I had an advantage in this because uh, I was a teacher for 15 years, so it's constantly talking um, in front of kids. But if you don't have that advantage, you need to take your phone, flip it around, and talk to your phone, video it, and then watch it back, in which you should be doing anyway because you should be starting – you know, your social media channels to get practice and to put yourself out there. Okay. Going back to number one, number four, I studied skill development. I found somebody who knew more than me. I watched their videos for free, YouTube, Instagram, and really studied, write some stuff down. Right. And I then applied it. Okay. Cause remember you don't think, you know, as much as you could know. I thought I knew a lot about basketball. Then when I started to learn from other people, I'm like, I didn't know that. I didn't know that little detail. So keep studying your skill development. Number five, probably the best thing I did. No, not probably. It is the best thing. Hire a business coach. Basketball, lots of experience. Teaching, lots of experience. I didn't know how to run a business. So hiring a coach has changed my life in terms of the business side. Okay. I'm not doing this because of the money. I'm doing it because I love to help kids and I love basketball and we put the two together and making money is a byproduct of creating value for people and helping them change their lives. Right. Uh, but it is a business. So you have to learn. Number six, I ran it like a real business, not a side hustle. If you run things like a side hustle, people are going to treat it like a side hustle. No big deal, not show up. So you have to take it seriously. You have to put your policies in place. That, so, for example, cancellation policies, you can't have people no showing you. Stop collecting cash like a drug dealer. Get payment online before they show up. Number seven, showcase kids on social media. Tag their parents, especially on Facebook. It goes right to those parents' walls. Okay, Show them what you are doing. Number eight, obsessed is always a negative word with most people. It's not. It's something that you need to have. You have to be obsessed with succeeding. Okay. I hope this video helped. I know it was short. If you're looking for extra help, text me or check out the links and the info in the description. All right. I'll see you next video.